In the greater New Haven, Meriden area, we currently have 255 tutors who work with 1,285 adult students. Those numbers are amazing. So tonight, we celebrate the partnerships of our tutors and our students. We celebrate the men and the women who give their time, their patience, and their energy to make a difference. Our tutors describe themselves as feeling rewarded and gratified through their experiences because plainly, they love their work. We celebrate our students tonight. We applaud their courage and their perseverance. We applaud their commitment to learning all they can so they can improve their own personal lives and those of their families. And so we honor you all today, students and tutors alike. Tutors who have the diligence to reach out and teach. Students for your bravery to listen, think, and apply what you have learned. Okay, so now again for why we're here, to recognize our students. We have in the group nine student speakers who have requested to be here tonight. Hello, my name is Lauren and this is Lucia. Um, I've been teaching Fusia for the past few months, yeah. and she has impressed me so much. Um, we've been working on reading, writing, um, a lot with the alphabet, because her first language is a completely new alphabet, and I realized how difficult it is to memorize each, word, each letter and the different sounds that the letters make. Um, so I've learned a lot from Fusia as well. And very excited that I got involved in literacy volunteers. Okay. My name is Fuzia. I am from oh. Morocco. My language, my first language, Arabic, is, Ar is Arabic. I am reading English letter. I am reading English to get better, to would my to would speak English. I love my teacher, I love Lori, <laughs> I love my class because Lori bas the basics like letter, weather, reading, and speak to doctor, and speak to waitress, <laughs> and uh, my work of for the the future is to speak English with my family, with my friend, with anywhere in America. Hi, my name is Sue Webb, and I've been tutoring for about almost two years. Um, this is Susan Donnell, who is one of my students. We have a, a really nice group of, of people from several countries, Africa, South America, um, Mexico, and uh, as I am teaching, I'm learning as much as I am teaching, and we laugh and we have a lot of fun. <laughs> Hi, my name is Susan Daniel. I am from Peru. I have been here six years, for six years. Um, I got married. I got married six years ago. <laughs> um, I decided to move here because my husband is American. Uh, we have a, a, little, a little daughter. <laughs> she is two and a half. Her name is Valentina. Uh, she is my inspiration for, for the essay. My essay is um, My Daughter is My Strange. <laughs> Because yeah, in this essay I talk uh, how she changed my life and how she how she gave me the inner strength that I have. Okay. okay, I want to say thank you, a little civil volunteers, and especially my tutor Sue, who gave me the who helped me improve my English each Wednesday. Hi, my name is 
is Michelle Clurry. Uh, by day, I am an application developer and network admin. And by night, I tutor computer literacy to English language learners. I've been doing it for about three years. And I feel like I've probably learned more than I have taught, especially about teaching English language learners. My favorite anecdote is my first, first class when I couldn't get any of the students to click on the, um, the icon on the screen until one of them asked me what was a screen because when I had described the computer I called it a monitor. And <laughs> so it, it, it really becomes, um, it, it's really important that, um, that computers are taught and that they're taught specifically for English language learners because I feel like that the pace that we work at has to be spe specific and I feel like, I hope my students are getting as much out of it as I am. Um, I Just one quick thing is that my boss is actually letting me work early on Wednesdays so that I can teach. I told them that I was teaching Saturday mornings. A lot of my students were having trouble getting to class due to work commitments. And so my boss is letting me leave work early so that I can teach. And I'm really pleased by that. I was really excited. Maria is one of my awesome students. She's taking the class with me a second time because she loves it so much. Yes. Great yes. fun. Hello. My name is uh, Maria. And I came from Mexico City. 27 years ago. And my purpose in doing so was and continue to be for a better future. I met Holly five years ago when I was looking for an English tutor so I can learn more and better English. I, I was here in the library and the staff at the front desk gave to me a bookmark that reads 100 words. That is the way I have continued to escalate the letter of success with literacy volunteers. My tutors helped me to understand my homework and to become a CNA. Now, I'm looking for a job. Do you have one? <laughs> Hello, my name is Bob Martin, and I've been working with literacy volunteers um, for just about 10 years now. And uh, I think every year I've learned something more about teaching English. I found that uh, one of the best ways to learn English is to try to explain it to somebody else, which is not always easy. Um, but I would like to introduce my prize pupil, <laughs> our man, who has stuck with it and has made some great progress. She'd like to just tell you a little bit about what it means to her. Thank you. Someone, and that's what I found in those classes. 
during my classes we talked about anything anything at all from places to visit and see uh, connect with her to take uh, to get rid of ticks you know <laughs> <laughs> if you go to hiking <laughs> we shared a lot of laughs and on the other hand i learned right way of saying certain words and verbs <coughs> so that other americans can understand we even did some TOEFL tests you know and i improved significantly i suppose i would personally like to thank miss beth and bob and all my classmates for encouraging me and being so supportive and having confidence in me thank you literacy Olympics. hi my name is dave lomberth i'm a volunteer uh, with esl i've been about almost two years um we have four awesome students actually i call them friends actually because it feels like we have a the time goes fast and we have actually a good time um two of them couldn't make it today Asmat and Bushra, and then we have Anita sitting over there and uh Fuzia. and okay but before Fuzia speaks i think it was pretty funny uh, one of the times we had a class we we're talking about food and all the different types of foods in the different countries and we kind of half chokingly said that, well, maybe we'll bring some food in and, and share it someday. Well, next, the following week, I was surprised to see all of them bring in food from their native countries. <laughs> There's so much food, I just, I couldn't eat it all, I handed it out. And uh, I had to explain to my wife why I wasn't hungry that night. <laughs> but we survived, and it was, it was an awesome time. So I want to introduce Fuzia to say a few words about her experience. My name is Fuzia, I'm from Morocco. I don't speak alphabet, I write just French and A, B, C. My teacher corrects me for the E. <laughs> no, I can't <laughs> <laughs> But now I can chant not very good, but I try. <laughs> I chant too much at my job. <coughs> um, after my class too. Stop, stop. very good friend, Nabi. Uh, we've been working together for, I think, about three years. Uh, Nabi's a hard worker, and um, she wants to learn. I want to teach, and we are a perfect match. And she wants to talk to herself a little bit. My name is Nabi, and this is my teacher, Miss Nasi. I call her Miss Nasi, because it's, it's been so good to me. First, I didn't know how to read and write. But uh, I was so scared to take that step. But she's able to help me to take that step, and I'm very, very happy for the progression that I've made. I have no regret. Thank you for the festival. Hello, my name is Kim, and this is my student, Justin Taylor. I've been tutoring for two years now. And I'm just going to tell you about the festival. I've been tutoring for two years now. And Justin and I started working together in February this year. He's a very hard worker. Uh, he's planning to go to college to further his education, and um, we have a great time together. He's um, learning really good, and um, it's my pleasure to introduce Justin. <laughs> Hi, my name is Justin. Um, in 2011, I started at Middlesex Community College, and I didn't do so good in my English and my math. So I took some time off and contacted Holly and Rosemary to come back to get um, some tutoring at Literacy Volunteers. Um, I took my AccuPacer test last week and scored a lot higher than a few years back in 2011. I want to thank Holly and Fran, thank you so much. And thank you again. And I'll be coming back in the fall. Help on that. 
Hi, I'm Fran Jakubiak. I just completed my second year as a literacy volunteer teaching the only math class available for literacy volunteers. And it's been so much fun working with people who really and truly want to learn. And I spend my time helping them to fill gaps in their math uh, skills so that they can have a better chance of competing in filling out uh, entrance exams, etc. But uh, next year I'm going to be doing two math classes, one in the afternoon and one in the morning, and I hope to enjoy it just as much as I have. And I'd like, uh, Justin already mentioned he was one of my students this year, and I'd like to introduce Maya, who has a few words to say. By getting an education or taking advantage of opportunities, uh, two of the things that people look back on their lives and regret the most, I am very lucky to have taken advantage of what opportunities are open up to me. Um, but when I look back, I wish I had paid attention in class in high school. I even regret I didn't ask questions when I didn't understand something in high school because I was too shy. Um, <coughs> I came to a literacy volunteer program because I want to review what I may have missed or forgotten in high school, such as um, grammar and algebra. And uh, so those are the two classes that I took here at the literacy volunteer program. And thanks to Holly for that. Um, I'm glad that I came to the, the program. I made some friends along the way. And as we are here today to celebrate the success of the students and thank the tutors and donors, um, I am honored to have this opportunity to uh, be here and personally thank the tutors myself. Um, I want to thank uh, the tutors for sharing their knowledge and uh, time, and especially for taking on a job of the, heart, the kind heart and compassion. So to friends who my tutor, uh, who's my tutor? Thank you very much. Um, now, I wanted to dedicate this passage to Jack, Mr. Jack Stepper, uh, who is my English tutor. He might have been anticipating to proofread my third annual student writing project, and he might have been anticipating to hear of my three minute speech from my other class, as well as other homework that he had given me. Um, I know that he was genuinely genuinely enthusiastic about any of my work, uh, but he might not have known that he has made such an impact on my life in such a short time. Um, I was heartbroken to learn of his passing when sorry, when I was preparing to meet him. They learned of his name. Now I have to do my best to impress him when he's not around. And I can only wish that he can read my paper and spend the at night, that I spend the at night writing. I'm so sad that I lost the friend that I just made. He was supposed to influence me and make me a better person. Um, he was like a mentor and um, he has gift to share with those around him and um, he was a good man. So um, Jack Zucker, you will be remembered and will be missed and maybe we could have a moment of silence for Jack Zucker, please.